if you're going back to school soon, you gotta get as many gaming hours in as possible, okay? Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most anticipated games of August 2018. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at games that you should check out in the month of August. While there aren't a ton of exciting new releases this month, these eight should hold you over until the end of the summer. Number eight, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, release date August 28th, 2018. Capcom has had its ups and downs in recent years, but the Monster Hunter series has consistently acted as a beacon of hope. If you're a true completionist, chances are you sunk hundreds of hours into Monster Hunter Generations, when it was released on the 3DS a couple of years back. For anyone who missed out on this addictive title, this HD version of the Greatest Hits collection is a must-own for the Switch. With local and online multiplayer play, it's an already great game with a fresh coat of paint now. Number 7. Madden NFL 19. Release date August 10th, 2018. Deontay Thompson. Beautiful fake. The Madden NFL games are kind of like sports movies. You pretty much know exactly what you're going to get going in, but if a formula works, I guess there's no need to drastically change it. What separates Madden NFL 19 from its predecessors is the introduction of real player motion, which gives the gameplay and animation another layer of realism. The game will also feature a tweaked ultimate mode and see the return of touchdown celebrations, which have been absent for almost a decade. Sure to satisfy dedicated fans of the 30-year-old series while also offering just enough new tricks, the game seems more than worthy of Football Hall of Famer's Terrell Owens' endorsement. Would you let the moment define you? Or will you define the moment? Number 6, Dead Cells. Release date August 7th, 2018. Since hitting the scene in 2001, developer Motion Twin has gained attention for its numerous free indie games. The team is still small with only about 10 employees, but their fan base is large with 15 million registered users. Dead Cells has been built up as the company's most ambitious outing yet, mixing the action adventure of the Metroidvania genre with elements of roguelike games. It's also drawn comparison to the Soul series, meaning you can expect to die a lot. Of course, when a game's called Dead Cells, that should probably be a given. So, you up for the challenge? Number 5, Overcooked 2. Release date, August 7th, 2018. Anyone who's worked in the food industry knows that running a restaurant is no picnic. Overcooked was hectic in all the right ways, however, winning two prizes at the 13th British Academy Games Awards. Who knew that a cooking simulation game could be so inventive and fun? I'm gonna grab it. Uh, I'm gonna take it to the sink. Well, I just want to cooked. Yeah, I'll need a little bit more. <laughs> Anyone who's hungry for a second helping will be happy to know that Overcooked 2 is arriving on the menu this month. While some were disappointed that the original only offered local cooperative experiences, this sequel will thankfully include wireless and online multiplayer. So, if you and your friends aren't playing on the same couch, there's still plenty of mayhem to stir up together in the kitchen. Number four, We Happy Few, release date August 10th, 2018. Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. This survival adventure game submerges the player in an alternative timeline where Germany successfully took over the British Empire during World War II. Now in the 1960s, citizens attempt to escape their grim reality with a literal happy pill called Joy. This hallucinogenic drug strips people of their morality though, leading to what looks like a city full of jokers. Very good. The player takes control of one of three, quote, downers who must escape before they're consumed by joy. Imagine a more demented version of Inside Out, also possessing echoes of movies like Brazil, novels like A Brave New World, and games like Bioshock, We Happy Few is poised to put a smile on that face. Number 3, Shenmue 1 and 2, release date August 21st, 2018. Having to go up against juggernauts like the PS2 and Xbox, the Sega Dreamcast was destined to go down as one of the most underappreciated consoles of all time. 
gamers thus missed out on several phenomenal titles, including Shenmue 1 and 2. Both of these games were considered financial disappointments, especially since Shenmue was one of the most expensive games ever made at the time. Years later, however, these two masterpieces have continued to grow in popularity thanks to a dedicated cult following. While we'll have to wait until at least 2019 for the crowdfunded Shenmue 3, these high-definition ports will at least give us a chance to catch up on some overlooked classics. Number 2. Telltale's The Walking Dead The Final Season Release date, August 14th, 2018 Come on, you love this one. It's a bad song. You shouldn't scream. Most people would agree that The Walking Dead TV show has kind of overstayed its welcome, but it appears that Telltale is bowing out gracefully with this final season of their hit episodic game series. While A New Frontier was met with a mixed reception, the developers are going back to the basics as Clementine once again takes center stage. With AJ growing up fast, Clem continues to act as his surrogate mother against the backdrop of the Walker apocalypse. Over the course of four episodes, Telltale will aim to give Clem a proper send-off. Just be sure to have some tissues handy, too. Now, what do you do if I get bit? Number 1. World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth Release date August 14th, 2018 We have paid the price for sharing this world. And we have forgotten what makes us strong. Few games can keep players coming back well over a decade after their initial release. But World of Warcraft is still going strong thanks to its immersive universe, not to mention its various expansions. Battle for Azeroth, the game's seventh expansion, takes place right after the events of its predecessor, Legion. As tensions continue to grow between the Alliance and the Horde, players will be introduced to the continents of Zul Tiras and Zandalar as an all-out war looms on the horizon. In addition to new dungeons and raids, players will be able to increase their level cap to 120. And no matter who you ally yourself with, get ready to get lost in Azeroth once again. Thanks for watching Mojo Plays. Be sure to subscribe and click on the link in the description below to check out our suggestion page and vote on what content you'd like to see us cover next.